God bless you, gifted family. Thank you for staying with us. The preaching of God's word is his passion. Introducing Pastor Kwame. Listen and be edified. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. One of the things that we enjoy in Christ is the exceedingly great promises. Amen. And I want you to understand that you may not have a lot of money in your bank account, but you have a promise. Amen. And the truth of the matter is that your promises are based on the ability that God can deliver. And that is where your richness comes from. Amen. You are of a citizen that is not of this world where the economy is strong. Amen. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. I place you in the hand of God that no enemy can touch you amen may you receive vision may you receive new ideas may you receive strength may you receive health so you can appropriate it and fulfill the purpose of your life amen let's let's just get into the word of god today the flower face the leaves wither but the word abide forever in the book of mark chapter 13 the verse number 20b mark 13 20b the bible says but for the sake of his chosen ones he has shortened those days but for the sake of his chosen ones he has shortened those days i want to sound a word of hope to you that relief is coming says the lord relief is coming says the lord amen let me exegete the test and begin to talk heart to heart with you concerning the importance of the timeliness of your relief um so in in mark chapter 13 jesus is giving them a picture of their scatology which is the events of the end time and he's talking about the persecution that the, the people of god will go through and the great tribulations or the great difficulty that end times will be going to present and he talks about the fact that the holy spirit will be active in the last days because a lot of the things that the believer will say will be because the holy spirit made him say it it won't be a prepared message it won't be a message that they have prepared but it will be instantly delivered by the holy spirit when we are put against those who seek to destroy our lives and he talks about the fact that things will be very difficult but it shall be like the birth pain of a woman and he continued to say Say in the midst of it, he pauses and says that, but for the sake of his chosen ones, he has shortened those days. Oh, can't you love the Lord for this? But for the sake of his chosen ones, he has shortened those days. And the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart and said that, send this word of hope to my people today and tell them that relief is coming. I'm about to shorten the days of their troubles their individual troubles i'm about to shorten them you wouldn't appreciate this goodness of god unless i tell you what happens when your days of trouble are not shortened one of the things i have understood in life which was said by a wise man the wise, a wise man said that trouble makes a person strong but continuous trouble breaks a person down I came to declare that your relief is coming, says the Lord. God is saying literally, I'm about to cut the days of your delay. Can I get an amen? I'm about to cut the days of your sickness. Can I get an amen? I'm about to cut the days of your difficulty. Can I get an amen? The most important thing we all have to understand and embrace is that in this life, there are people who are dead and gone. And they are only dead and gone because the number of their problems were not shortened. The Bible says that if the bridegroom had come earlier, all ten of them would have gone. But because the days were not shortened, five of the virgins lost the assets. Oh, I want you to understand me that if your troubles continue too long, every one of us, the Bible says, could not stand it. That is why I come with the good news to declare that says the Lord, the number of the days of your troubles are going to be shortened. There are some people who have left the church because their days were not shortened. There are some people who have backslided because it was just too much. There are some people who have committed suicide because the days of their trouble were just too much. If it was one week, they would have stayed. 
on themselves if it was two weeks they would have stayed but it came to pass that they stayed in that difficulty for months and weeks and years and because of that they threw in the bible away and they went and began to sell their body to make money i declare that you will never find yourself in a place where your troubles are too much and that the days of your trouble shall be shortened in this life it's not what you're going through but how long you go through it there are some marriages that would have been here if the troubles in the marriage were shortened it is important that you begin to embrace this promise today that the days oh oh i know some people that live in holiness until it was just too much pastor if god had opened the door just three years ago i would have still stayed pure but it was just too much i declare in the name of jesus that may the days of your trouble be shortened the painful part is when people commit suicide and if they if if the if the days of their trouble were shortened just by a week they would have made it the wise man said trouble makes a man strong but continuous trouble breaks the spirit of a man I declare in the name of Jesus that your days of pain are shortened. Your days of difficulty are shortened. Your days, your personal days of tribulations are shortened. Say yes, the Lord. When things delay, problems increase. When things delay in your life, troubles increase. When things, Bible says, desire a weight make the heart sick. Some of you, you can attest to the fact that when delay comes too much, when things delay too much, the joy of the thing is gone even when you receive it. I pray that the days will be shortened for you. The Bible said, and God saw in heaven. What I like about this verse is that it is already done. He speaks of the future, but he used the word past. He says, but for the sake of his chosen. And God is highlighting the word chosen. It is the only reason the Lord will shorten the, your single days is because you are chosen. The only reason the Lord will shorten the sickness days is because you are chosen. The only reason the Lord will shorten the days of your financial challenges is because you are chosen. He said, for the sake of the chosen ones, he has shortened those days. He has shortened it already. When you look at the bigger picture of the eschatological map, I come to declare as a man of God that I take the calendar of your life and I slice into half the days of your singleness. I slice into half the days of your financial difficulty. I sli- it is good that we go through difficulty. He says, it was good that I was afflicted, but it is not good to be afflicted too much. And too long are you understanding me it's not good to be afflicted too long there was a day that job almost cursed the day he was born actually he actually did may god shorten the days of your singleness it hurts my heart so much it hurt my heart so much that some people will fight and fight and fight the good fight of faith and if relief have come earlier, they would have still been in the faith. But the pressure kept coming day one, day two, day three. And they couldn't start. And the Bible says that if I don't shorten the days, I can't find any of the elect or the chosen. That means that it doesn't matter how strong you are. If trouble keep coming, you will give up. But I come to declare in the name of Jesus that says the living God that your troubled days are going to be cut in half in Jesus' mighty name. Your troubled days are going to be shortened. Your difficulties are going to be shortened. In the name of Jesus. It is your portion and it says none word for you that your days of personal tribulations is shortened by the word of my mouth relief will come in jesus mighty name i say relief will come i speak into your life what you are going through 
it won't last the normal time oh god help us the thing that is destroying your marriage it will cease the storm will cease i pray in jesus name that the battle that you are going through it will not continue makali sambrandu hata a year by this time you will not smell like smoke anymore for this problem has been cut in half say as the lord i declare in jesus mighty name that the troubles of your life will be cut in half and the length of the trouble of your life will be shortened none of us none of us can continue and stay in pain forever may the lord who has spoken today may he bring it to pass to shorten the days of your crying you have cried every night for a whole two years in the name of jesus may that problem be solved you have sighed hmm, 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 over this same marriage and it's not getting better in the name of jesus may this problem be solved you will not go through a divorce in jesus name may this problem be solved you laugh but you are crying on the inside it is no well it is no well how many times would the doctor find out something about your body as for you every day there is something wrong with your body may that problem be solved in jesus name you are even ashamed to tell people about what your children are doing when everywhere you turn your other other kids are graduating but your kids are strung on something may that problem be solved i prophesy relief into your life i declare that the days of your calamity be shortened by god you decided to stay pure but the difficulty on every side when they come they go so now you don't know what to do and you are begin to cut corners sleeping with people you are not supposed to sleep with just because things are delaying but i come as a servant of god to speak the word of elohim to you to say to you today that in jesus name the days of your singleness are shortened you will make it you will make it rise up and walk for the days are shortened father we thank you today you were kind you thought about shortening days even before we were born shorten the personal calamity of your children so that by the time the summer is over they will rejoice in you may god give you the grace to finish hard in jesus name amen